Welcome to another episode of Semana ADC. My name is Catherine Buraga and I lead the team here at uh, Africa Development Center in Nairobi. Today I'm excited to be the host and I'm hosting Dr. Lawrence Nderu from Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology. He is the chairman of the Computer Science Department and is also a lecturer. Dr. Nderu, karibu sana. Asante sana, thank you. I think to kick us off, tell us more about Jomo Kenyatta University and also specifically from a STEM-related perspective and what you do. Thank you, and uh, very happy to be here mm -hmm. uh, at uh, Microsoft. So first of all, uh, uh, Jomo Kenyatta University, in terms of uh, STEM-based courses, is one of the universities that, that, that is known in Kenya. In fact, uh, as you might know, initially, Jomo Kenyatta used to be called Juja Boys. Uh, and, and, and that was because there was a lot of uh, STEM courses that women then, as you know, the numbers have always been low in that area. So as a STEM-based university, Jomo Kenyatta has its own uh, area mall, or all its sites. It's, it's a read in, in that area. Awesome. Thank you so much. When you reflect on, we've just had a, a, a collaboration between Africa Development Center Nairobi and uh, Jomo Kenyatta University. And the collaboration, we did many things, but the ones that are really top of mind for me is the curriculum develop, review. And you can tell us more about that. And also uh, faculty skilling. Perhaps share with us some reflections on that, either at a personal level Having been a sponsor, not that you're the chairman of the computer science department, your own reflections as a lecturer, having gone through the skilling, and also what are you hearing on the ground, as we see in Kenya, as a result of that collaboration? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you. So first of all, I want to say that in terms of curriculum review, which is something that I'm also very proud of, the, the students who are going to join the department of computing, doing computer science and doing computer technology. Mm -hmm. If you think about one of the complaints that has been there, is the fact that there is a feeling of the disjoint that mm -hmm. exists between the industry mm -hmm. and the universities. So it is good to teach them how the workstation or the workplace will look like than how to stay at the university. So, and, and that's how this curriculum is, is a very proud moment for me because it brought to us uh, experts we had uh, uh, guys, engineers from Microsoft coming in, uh, talking about technical aspects around things like uh, uh, GitHub and seeing how it can be ingrained within our syllabus or our various units. Uh, things like, for example, cloud computing, how we can be able to introduce virtual reality, user experience. These are all things that are modern and, and very crucial for the, the curriculum. So it was um, the, the, the way we did it, we went course by course. And also we got the uh, some input overview mm. on how the feel of the way the industry is feeling. And that was also very interesting. Mm, fantastic. Let me take you back to a comment you made in your opening remarks. It touched on diversity from a gender perspective. Dr. Nderu, what are you seeing? What have you seen in terms of women taking up STEM-related courses with regards to JQuad? What do we need to do differently? The numbers are low. Why do I say they are low? Because also when I look at entrance into the job market, the, the numbers are low. What do we need to do? Is it at university level? Is it at high school? I'm curious about your thoughts. So I agree it's, it's a real problem and I see it. And I've been uh, really concerned about it. And my thoughts are that mm -hmm. maybe we should start looking at it from the culture angle. Mm -hmm. How will we change uh, people to see that uh, it's possible to be done? Maybe by changing cultures to the extent that people don't see it as a torturous journey because it, it looks like uh, STEM is highly torturous from day one mm. to most people mm. and therefore not attractive in the sense that it is torturous. It doesn't give people the freedom to feel like uh, you're enjoying it, mm. right? Uh, or I can do it. You can do it, something mm. like that. And, and that's maybe a culture starts from the parents, I would mm. say, mm. Uh, even back at home, uh, trying to make sure that when they are young, you encourage them to to see that problem solving is part of what STEM is all about. Mm. And, and therefore, you can encourage them at that young age. Uh, it is good to also talk about um, uh, the attractiveness of jobs that exist in the, in the software engineering. Otherwise, uh, if you think about it, if you come and you say, I am a politician and I'm earning 800,000, mm. that in itself carries some level of attraction because people want to also earn decent uh, salaries. Aspiration. Yeah, aspiration. Yeah. So if we can now raise that and say, 
even as we talk about other things, even as we talk about the need for us to have talent for our development as an individual, there's, there's something that you gain from being busy in terms of your salary, in terms of your, your growth as a person. So, Thank you. So culture, mindset, parenting. That's parenting. what I'm yes, hearing. Yes, yes, yes. Let me take you back to the collaboration that we've just had and continue to have, ADC and JQuart. What opportunities or a challenge would you throw at other technology, other companies in the technology space um, to participate or work in collaboration with universities? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. What, what challenge would you throw to other tech companies who are like-minded? We want to bridge this gap. As Jomo Kenyatta, specifically as the Department of Computing, mm -hmm. and, and we have had that conversation around setting up the hub. Mm -hmm. So the idea revolves around having a center where it's possible for even industry to come up with some problems that they feel they, ha they, mm -hmm. are, they have. Uh, we should think bigger than just having a hackathon where we just solve the problem. Mm -hmm. We should think that these are some of the problems that our people can, can be their own businesses or they can be funders or founders for these kind of uh, businesses. A very good challenge there. And I'd like the change in mindset in terms of, um, and I guess you are also addressing a big problem in Kenya and also in Africa, unemployment. Yeah. Changing the mindset in terms of, yes, once you're done with your university degree, it doesn't always mean you go look for a job. Yes. You can be the creator Correct. of those opportunities for yourself and enterprises. Yes. It has been absolute pleasure, first of all, Dr. Nderu, even to host you today for this uh, ed ed episode of Semana ADC, but also as Africa Development Center in Nairobi, partnering with uh, Jomo Kenyatta University of Technology. Absolute pleasure. And thank you for joining us for this episode of Semana ADC. 